Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Cancer, for the last half of January 2024. Let's get right into it, Cancer. Hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Cancer, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. If you'd like a personal reading, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email and we can talk about that. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of cancer anywhere in your chart. Or if you are just checking in on a cancer, all are welcome here. It just might not resonate with everyone. But welcome, welcome cancer spirit. Can we get some messages for the sign of cancer? The moon oracle card. Communication is key. The new moon in Gemini. Hmm, time to talk about this. Time to get something out in the open. And the end of a tough cycle approaches the full moon in Capricorn and show the world, the world, the real you, the full moon in Aquarius. Look at these full moons, something coming to an ending here. So a new form of communication or a new way to communicate, maybe let's see what that's about. Animal spirit guide for up in the ether for the sign of cancer spirits. What is going on with the sign of cancer? What kind of animal spirit guide is walking with cancer? Kind of animal spirit guide. Ooh, the firefly. Wow, look at this bringing in the light, summoning the light, summoning the answers here. I love this. I love this. Really summoning the answers here. And the starfish, very resilient. Look at this and a, a, a sponge, an absorption happening, and the owl. So maybe you're in study mode. You're learning something, learning something that's very enlightening for you. I love that. Uh, very resilient. You've got some resiliency going on here. You've got some stamina. Cancer, I love that. <laughs> never give up, never surrender. What kind of Zen tarot card is up in the ether for the sign of cancer? What's going on with cancer spirit? What kind of energy? Look at this with the burden. It came and it knocked off the end of the tough cycle approaches here. So maybe something getting in the way or some burdens getting in the way, some resentments maybe you don't want to talk about or you don't want to bring up here, but you're learning a new way. You're, you're exploring. You're exploring something new. You've stepped up as the explorer here. And receptivity. Wow, look at this. You are open to receiving. I love this. The throat, throat chakra. So finding the right words, finding the right tone, finding the right uh, inflections in your voice is important right now. You don't want to uh, come across as harsh or um, overpowering here with your voice. Something about your voice. Cancer is really stepping up, letting go. Maybe it's that filter you have. Maybe you just have to talk about this or get this out in the open here to relieve some of this stress and burden that you've been holding on to. It's like there's something you want to say, something you want to get off your chest. You just don't quite know how to do it. Let's see what kind of energy is uh, Cancer thinking about right now. What is on Cancer's mind right now, Spirit? The three of swords, some kind of sorrow or grief or uh, something you need to get off your chest here. Cancer, it just has to be communicated, but it has to be communicated in the right way. So you've been grieving something. You've been caught up in your head about something. You want to talk about it. You want to get the burden off your chest, but you're not quite sure how to do it. What led up to this? What is this about for cancer? The four of pentacles. God, you've been waiting for the right time, the right moment, the right feeling, uh, just absolutely waiting for the right time. You've got something you need to say. You need to get it off your chest. You've been journaling it. You've been handling this very privately. I think that's what the resilience is. You've been trying to process something up in your mind, and there's a, a third-party perspective that has to come in, some kind of higher perspective. What's the challenge in the mind space for cancer spirit? What's the challenge for cancer? The two of cups, I think this has to do with a relationship or communicating with someone in the right way, the correct way. Uh, yeah, you've got to get something off your chest here, but it has to be the right moment. It has to be the right energy. You're so smart to do that. Because if you approach this any other way, then I want you to see my side of this. It's going to come off as uh, attacking or that you're suspect of something. And really, it's just an opening of communication that has to happen here, an opening of the throat chakra. It would really serve you well to listen to some meditation on opening up the, th the throat chakra cancer so that you can speak freely without the restrictions, without the grief getting in the way here. There's something that keeps getting in the way, gets you choked up. 
So you just need to take a minute to process what you want to say here. And it has to do with a relationship, talking this out with someone. Future, future thought for cancer. Ooh, finding the balance with temperance. Look at this. I love this. Really thinking about this first. You're really processing something first before you communicate it. Finding the balance here, finding the uh, right words, finding the right words. So this is going to come to you divinely. The words are going to be divinely channeled through you so that you can uh, express yourself without the inflections or the um, getting anyone's uh, backup or in defense mode here. Look at the star on the bottom of the deck. Cancer, this is, conversation is going to be very, very healing very healing. I love that. I love when you finally are able to open up, uh, speak with your gut, speak with your instincts here. It's going to really balance things out. Yes, yes, yes. Spirit, what's your advice in this conversation? Leo energy was strength. Look at this major arcana coming in. Cancer, this conversation is going to change everything. It's going to really clear the air. It's going to clear the air out of a lot from a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, mm, gossip almost. There's things you're hearing that maybe it's from a third party or uh, just it's, it's incorrect. It's incorrect about how this other person is feeling, but it's got you all up in your head. You are garnering the strength to walk in and have this conversation very rationally, very stable. I love this. I love this because you're unmovable now. You know exactly what you need to say. Now it's just a matter of maneuvering your way there. What are you feeling about this? What are you feeling? What's in the heart space right now for cancer? Spirit, tell me what's in the heart space. Four of Wands. Look at this. The coming together, the celebration, the end of that. So it's been a while since you've been able, probably about eight years, since you've been able to clear the air here or remove the blame or remove something out of your way here. It's just an obstacle that keeps getting in your way and you don't quite know how to communicate it. But when this conversation happens, it becomes very easy. It's just flowing. It removes all of this cloudiness from your mind space, all of this grief here from your mind space. Tell me what led up to this. The three of pentacles, there's that third party kind of coming in, that third party perspective here. <clears throat> It's almost like there's a mediator, a translator, a translator to help the two of you to communicate this correctly. So I love that. Maybe a therapist or uh, some kind of third party perspective coming in and gaining the balance, gaining the stability here in the relationship. I really, really love that you're all willing to work on this. You're all willing to get things out on the table, to get things out on the open so that it can be talked about and processed here. I really, really love that determination for a solution here. It's not just pointing out the problems. It's not just pointing out who's at fault or the root cause. It's really solution finding. You're in a solution finding mode right now. Look at this with judgment. Wow, cancer. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is a whole new song, a whole new tune. You haven't communicated with this person in this way before. It's very freeing. It's very um, uh, exhilarating. It's almost a huge celebration in your heart that you're able to just be you. You don't have to walk on eggshells. You don't have to worry about uh, offending anyone or defenses getting up. It's really, really clear, clear cut communication coming into you and it eases your heart. It eases the burden that this relationship has put on you. Future, future feeling for cancer, future feeling, future emotion for cancer. I saw that wheel wanted to come up. It wanted to come up before too. So there's a big change coming for you, a massive change in this relationship. Look at this with the king of swords, the king of communication, the king of words here, the professor now, the professor steps in to clear the air, to clear the confusion, to clear away uh, any of the doubt here of what is being said is genuine here. So I love this cancer. You're really speaking from your heart now, getting out of your head, getting out of the emotions of it. Don't have this conversation when you're all up in your head and all emotional about it. This conversation is meant to be a uh, uh, solution finding, solution finding. So not blaming each other, not trying to throw the blame or uh, distract or deflect here. This is an absolute truth conversation coming to you. My God, I love this. I love this. It's like finally the right 
third party perspective steps in here and it's not crowded by grief or by uh, emotions. Look at this cancer. <laughs> my God, my God. The chariot, which is your card in the major arcana and the sun, the sun, more Leo energy stepping into the mix. Wow, wow, wow. Happier days ahead. New communication, new rules, new guidelines on how we speak to each other. Oh my God, this is glorious. This is glorious. Real coming together and you're being heard. You're being heard. You're being felt. You're being uh, acknowledged here. It's just, oh my God, I'm thinking of the movie Avatar where, you know, they're, when they greeted or when they uh, were partying, they said, I see you, I see you. That's what's happening here. There's some kind of third party that steps into these conversations that have been really about blame and about deflection and about mirroring a lot of things. And this third party comes in and everyone starts taking responsibility for the way that they feel. It's like you're no longer responsible for the way that I feel. I'm not putting that on you any longer. And you're both saying that. That is glorious. That's glorious. Just really, really being accountable for your own emotions and the way you feel about things absolutely beautiful also the way you think about things you're not influenced easily you're not uh, uh swayed by the gossip any longer here or other people's emotions getting into the mix here maybe that's why the two threes that third party maybe that third party in the past was the grief coming in or the sorrow coming in and it just clouded both of you it's just like not now not now i can't talk about this now this massive balancing comes in, this balancing act comes into the, to the mind space here. You start taking responsibility. You start taking accountability for the way you feel. And it is glorious. It just leads you out of the confusion. It leads you out of the chaos and the smoke and mirrors here. It was just absolutely smoke and mirrors here. What is this all about? What's in the foundation of this for cancer? What is this all about? devil, the devil, <laughs> Capricorn energy coming into the mix here, but the temptation, the temptation to blame, the te temptation to distract and deflect because you're feeling so responsible yourself. You've always taken on the responsibility, Cancer, but maybe you've taken on the responsibility of too much. Maybe it's time to shed that. Maybe that is the burden is taking on the weight of the world, the responsibility, holding yourself in contempt here. And you're removing that. You're removing that. You're putting the responsibility back onto the others where it belongs. No more deflecting. No more fear being thrown at you. No more fear. No more guilt. No more of this smoke and mirrors with you, Cancer. You're just stepping through. You're stepping through that mirror into this parallel universe where everybody takes their own pile of crap here. They're not putting it in front of you and saying, okay, now you deal with this because this is the way you made me feel here. No retribution. This is reciprocity coming, the exchange of energy coming. And the fear, fear be gone. Fear be gone. I can't let you dictate my life any longer. I can't let you dictate my feelings any longer. You're just, you're just kicking that fear to the curb here. I love, love, love this cancer. I love this transformation out of the fear here. <clears throat> what led up to that? What led up to that, that cancer standing on their own and looking the devil right in the eye and saying, I see you, I see you, I acknowledge you. And that just makes the devil dissipate. It just makes a, 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 the energy just go away because it's been seen here. It's like there's some kind of thing in the, um, you know, my grandmother used to do <laughs> seriously exorcism. She really, really did. She was a prominent member in the Mormon church. And uh, there was a, a time where she told me, if you can call the demon out loud, if you can say the demon's name and recognize the demon, they have no choice but to expose themselves. And there's no match between the light and the dark, but they have to see each other. They have to acknowledge each other. So that stuck with me forever, forever. You can't shun the demon. You can't ignore the demon. You have to acknowledge it. You have to acknowledge that fear is here. And that allows you to let down the burden of the fear here because it is seen. It is seen. Maybe that's why I was seeing Avatar. I see you. I see you, devil. I see you, fear. 
So that allows you to lay it down one burden at a time, one uh, guilty pleasure thought at a time here. So there's no reason, there's no reason for you to try to deflect any longer because you've tackled it now, you've, you've faced it head on. Cancer, this is beautiful. This is an absolutely beautiful transformation out of the dark into the light. That's why we're seeing the firefly. You are the light. You are the uh, creator here. You are absolutely the creator here. So now you're finding your voice. You're finding your place. You're finding your stamina. You're finding your resilience. And you're honoring it within yourself. That's why judgment is here. What is the challenge in the situation? What is the challenge of the situation here? Broken promises, broken promises. You've just been like this on this series of broken promises. It's just like as soon as you learned how to trust, as soon as you learned how to communicate, the other side of it would break. But that was to teach you how to trust you, how to count on you, how to understand that you are responsible for your own feelings here, for your own thoughts here. And you can change those. Those can be changed. Those can be transformed and transmuted by you. So that's what's allowing you to lay down these burdens. You're just not taking the responsibility any longer for others' failures. You're taking responsibility for your own. Absolutely, with the devil coming out here in the beginning, you're, you're owning it. You're owning your uh, part in this. And I feel uh, bad all the time because I am looking for the bad. I am looking for how these promises got broken. I am looking for the root cause here. I'm looking for who to blame here. And so now you're just turning it on yourself. You're turning that on yourself. And you're saying, if I can blame myself, then I can get myself out of this. Then I can call it out by name. I can see what is getting in my way. And that allows me to push it aside here. That's how you're finding your voice. This is absolutely about you finding your voice here. Future, future situation for cancer now that they found their voice here. Eight of Cups, look at this. You're walking away from it now. You're walking away from the emotion. You're walking away from the fear here that you're going to miss out because there's still passion here in the past. You still have something you can't let go of, but you're taking it with you now. You're taking it with you and you understand that you're taking it with you. So wherever you go, there you are. And you're only going to take forward what you are responsible for here. This is absolutely beautiful. This is the turn of the independence for you. Now you're moving into your independence. As soon as you start owning this, you move into your independence and your own balance and your own own uh, luck here. It's like I make my own luck. I am going to turn this around. Absolutely, you're turning something around here with the Wheel of Fortune. I knew it wanted to come out. I knew it. I knew it. This is a massive shift for you, Cancer. Massive shift in awareness of what's been getting in your way and understanding of what's been getting in your way and refining that voice of yours now so that you can speak clearly and passionately with the Leo energy here and be understood and felt by others here. It's absolutely glorious. Spirit, what's your advice? What's your advice in the situation? Look at this with the moon energy. This major arcana is insane, Cancer. But you are putting things back into perspective. Things got blown out of proportion. Words were said. Things were insinuated. Things were implied here. And so it grew, 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 grew much bigger than what it was. You're pulling it back into perspective with this third party influence here. Somebody helping you to pull it back into perspective instead of feeding the fire of that gossip or feeding the fire of that devil being that devil minion coming in to try to give you that drop of poison every day or that hint of uh, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you know, that insecurity, that drop of poison, that is over. It's done. You found your voice now. You're founding, finding the way to say no thank you without the excuses. Somebody wants you to go somewhere and you really have this gut feeling, I don't want to do that. You're just saying no. You're not giving any excuses. You're not giving any reasons because you know all too well people will find a way around those excuses. They'll find the reason why you can accommodate them. They will, they will move mountains for you to be able to accommodate them, but you're standing your ground. You're standing in your true power here, in your true light here, and you're saying no. This is absolutely glorious. Oh God, there's that wheel of fortune again. Cancer, look at this. A change, a massive change, uh, a change of the 
a guards now. You're just changing out. You're changing the status quo now. Really, really finding that North Star compass within you and standing your ground. This is absolutely about you standing your ground. Tell me, tell me, spirit, tell me about this lead in with the three of swords and the four of pentacles, this, this waiting game for cancer, this waiting for the time to be right to talk about the grief here. What is that all about? What is that all about? Oh, so much. Look at all these cards. The two of wands, the queen of swords, the ace of cups, the queen of pentacles, and justice. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You coming into understanding of what fulfills your heart and blame is not one of them. Trying to deflect is not one of them. Trying to shift the fault over to you is not one of them. Look at this beautiful beautiful stamina that you have cancer my god you are the leader here you are the leader of the words here you've got the king of swords and the queen of swords you really really find your voice you find the right way to say things you find the right way to bring this up in a in a time where it was very very difficult for you to even bring it up this is really your heart's fulfillment this is you integrating the energy bringing it into you and transforming the energy Look at this stability and security and giving yourself your own safety net. You didn't leave it up to anyone else to make you happy so no one can take it away from you. You didn't put conditions on people. You must change in order for me to be happy. As soon as you removed that restriction from them, they had no choice but to remove it from you. It was a take back of karmic energy, a take back of responsibility for our feelings, for the way we feel. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at this karmic justice cancer. It is time. It is time to see the other side of the grief. It is time to see the other side of feeling restricted, feeling uh, uh, suffocated, feeling burdened by the energies of others. You are just smudging them away. Uh, devil be gone. I see you. I acknowledge you. But I have more power than you. I am much more powerful uh, uh, than the dark here and you are overcoming you are overcoming something that has been very very difficult to overcome Whew, story of triumph for you cancer absolutely a story of triumph taking your life back taking your thoughts back and taking your feelings back i love this i love this what's a celebration coming into the heart space for cancer the celebration who is this third party what is that all about i want to see what that's all about the four of wands are the four of wands my god my god the moving into the celebration the 11 11 card so yeah you're moving into this you're moving into this relationship there's some kind of bigger perspective maybe that's spirituality itself or the understanding the awareness of how powerful you are maybe that's exactly what that third party was was your awareness of how powerful you are absolutely absolutely with the chariot coming into the mix here and the sun and judgment and justice absolutely the third party was you understanding your own power and that you have so much more control over your thoughts than you thought you did <laughs> right <laughs> all right what is this judgment beautiful beautiful judgment you hearing a new tune you hearing a new uh, path opening up for you you feeling your way there now feeling your way instead of being guided by others or being a lemming or being a, a follower here you you've stepped up into the leader position here so tell me more about that tell me more about the step up into the leadership here the page of swords look at this some kind of information coming to you and the six of cups soulmate energy we've got the two of cups and the six of cups here beautiful beautiful soulmate energy you have grown so much you really have gained a lot of wisdom on this a lot of information that you sought out so you sought a better way you sought out the solutions here instead of the problems and it really changed everything within your heart space cancer this is beautiful this is really really beautiful a transformation in the heart space um a real graduation here you're graduating this is a graduation for sure here but you've studied for this you have worked for this you have prayed for this you have summoned this energy to you absolutely with the ace of cups you've summoned this into you god you're powerful you're very very powerful you're so beautiful, Cancer. You're so beautiful. I want to see the chariot and the sun. Chariot and the sun. 
eight of cups again the walking away that's what it took that's what it took to find your light to find your power to shut the door on the past oh my dogs shut the door on the past shut the door on the possible outcome here and detach you had to really really detach uh, from a future that you felt was almost impossible. You had to detach from that, walk away from some emotion here, walk away from um, some of the things that got you here. Oh, cancer, that walk out was very painful for you. It was very, very painful for you to let go of this. I love that. I love that you had the strength to do that. You had the stamina to do that. You had the know-how to do that. Really followed your gut. Shut the door on something. You just absolutely slammed the door on it and said, I see you, I see you, I hear you, but I got to go this way now. And, and you really change directions, change directions. This is absolutely a change of direction here. The devil, the devil, what is that fear? What is that fear in the foundation here? Seven of Wands. Hmm, look at this. You, you're defensive. You're guarded. You're looking at that devil energy. This is you observing. This is you observing the devil energy, acknowledging the devil energy, seeing the te temptations, uh, that fear puts in front of us the temptation to be scared, the temptation to do what you um, think will remove the fear here. Absolutely beautiful. You've put this bubble of protection around you. You've summoned some kind of energy around you, some kind of beautiful angelic energy that uh, really comforts you in your times of fear here. The angels are always around you. You're very spiritual. You're very open to receiving spiritual information here with the Page of Swords in your heart space. Wow. Wow, what helps you to drop the burdens? The healing, the star energy, that Aquarius balance, that uh, coming to terms with things, that pure acceptance so that you can receive the replenishment now. Replenishment, a dream come true, a wish come true, a prayer come true for you has to do with a conversation, a uh, um, communicating with this loved one, really understanding how much you've been through together, how far you've come together. There's a reliance on each other. There's a uh, counting on each other now after some broken promises, after some broken dreams here. And this is beautiful. This is a massive understanding of how powerful each of you are in your own unique ways here. And then coming together, coming together and sharing those powers. There's a third party influence that really helped the two of you find this independence uh, and freedom to be you with each other here. So there's a real freedom to be you within this relationship here. It's very replenishing. It's very much renewal energy with this relationship very much renewal coming into you renewal when it was uh um, depletion before depletion it depleted your energy before now it's very much renewing your thoughts removing your renewing your energy here renewing your hopes and dreams here this is absolutely glorious knight of wands finding that passion again finding that fire again believing believing in the impossible again this is really really a transformation a transformation of the heart the mind and the uh, soul here. Absolutely beautiful. You're really listening to yourself, listening to your gut, recognizing the fears, recognizing the demons, slaying that dragon in front of you. Instead of pushing it aside, I'll deal with you later. Cry later. You're, you've been on this quest. I'm going to keep moving forward. I can't look at that now. You've had these blinders on. So that's why it was very hard to communicate, very hard to talk about things that had gone on in the past. But now, now you're pulling them back one at a time. That's why the Ten of Wands is here twice. You're pulling those burdens back one at a time and you're acknowledging the burden. You're recognizing, you're calling it out by name because of you. And that conversation is very freeing, very freeing. You get so much off your chest, so much off of your plate here when it comes to holding back. You've been holding back, you've been biting your tongue here, which was absolutely the great perfect thing to do in the time because it would have only triggered others around you. It would have only had their backs up and their guard up and then no conversation could have been had at that time. So you absolutely did the right thing, but it's time to pull them back now and it's time to acknowledge them and it's time to look at the fear here and what has been holding you back so that you can move forward with this chariot energy <laughs> that is you, that is you becoming the leader of your own life here. Cancer, this is taking your life back, taking your power back, taking your control back, and uh, fear be gone. Fear be gone. Do not be afraid. 
That's what cancer is telling all of us. Do not be afraid. Look at that fear. It's the only way to conquer it. The only way. All right, Cancer, I think I will leave it here. I love this message. I love this reading. I am uh, really, really um, intrigued to see what this conversation is for you because I'm nosy. So let me know. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And I will definitely tune in with you soon. Hope you have a fantastical end of the month.